Hey child. The teacher number 13 is out, child. So I figured let me record that since it just came out or whatever. So y'all can stop asking me for 13 because here it is, honey. It was Friday and I had just gotten home from school and I wanted to make a snack in the kitchen. So my mom just called me. Okay, what's up? She said she talked to you about us going to Finland to visit uh, the Igloo Hotel. Yeah, that's right. She suggested we go on a bonding trip together and recommended that hotel. Okay, so do you want to go? Oh, shit. Do you want to go? Shit, I don't know. I think it would do us good. Things haven't exactly been crazy easy with us. Is Cassie coming? Ellie doesn't think she needs to come. But she did mention that Kylie uh, could bring a friend so that we could get to know each other more too. Oh, really? Bitch! He walked closer to me, <laughs> having his playful, flirtatious look in his eyes. What are you doing, girl? Um, he was so close to me, I had, I had to press myself up against the cupboard. Okay, bitch, you got a special fucking thing, bitch. I could feel his breath on me as he put his hand on the cupboard and leaned in closer to me. I froze. I didn't know how to react to his approach. He looked at my lips with a hint of a smile on his face. Are you sure you want to spend a weekend at a romantic place like that with me? <laughs> Us all alone in the dark in front of a cozy fireplace. Child, I don't... I cannot get this fucking man child he's fucking crazy i go to try not to imagine us in that scenario it it won't only be i won't only be with you um kylie and her friends will be there too i stuttered they probably be themselves um they probably be by themselves most of the time <clears throat> He said, smirking like he was entertained by how uncomfortable I was standing there with him a few inches from my face. <laughs> His cologne was spicy and intoxicating. It was subtle. It was a subtle note of stage to it. Girl, you understand, say, child. Stressing me out. I love the way he smelled. I could have buried my head in his neck. He had a certain power vibe, a powerful vibe to him that intrigued me. Well, I wouldn't mind getting to know you better. But could you just back off? <laughs> he took a tiny step closer and I honestly thought he was going to kiss me. You will get to know me in ways you never thought you would, Nia. <laughs> he, his smile was gone. He just looked at my lips. Uh, he grabbed the slice of apple behind me that I had been cutting from my, from my snack, honey. And I realized that that was his plan all along just to grab a slice of apple but he thought it would be funny to make me think otherwise he winked at me as he took a bite of the apple slice and walked out the kitchen smiling to himself bitch I would have cussed his ass out well, bitch I would have did the same shit only I don't know in the bathroom and I would have just been in the soap girl <laughs> fuck you man I felt stupid for letting him play around with me like that I knew he I knew he knew that I was making a move. I knew he, he, I knew that he thought I was that I thought that he was making a move on me. Shit, that shit was confusing, y'all. Sorry, I'm tongue tied. <laughs> and he took advantage of that. I guess he's trying to get his point point about me falling for him across. It's so he's so fucking annoying. God, he's so annoying. <laughs> I guess that means I should book the trip. Girl, he real irritating. Girl, he childish as hell, girl. Sunday came shortly after. A way too short. Saturday. Uh, and way too for Texas Daryl. He had been sending me these mysterious looks ever since the cover incident. I was pretty sure he was just playing me. He'd never risk losing his job. 
and his reputation to be with me for the fun of it. I said to myself that he's just playing me. I'm sure he is. He's not interested in me, and that's why I need to just ignore his this behavior of his. Girl, bye. So, turned up on that bitch. I'm sorry, y'all. I done did some crazy, freaky shit. He'd have been like, oh my God, I don't, I don't know. Wait, oh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> and I did, and surprisingly well on top of that. It was the day of Miss, Miss Anderson's Sunday roast. Uh, my dad was going to pick me up and drive us to their house, so I had to figure out what to wear. Let's see what something sassy say, girl. Mm -mm, I don't like that. Uh, no, girl. Uh, try another outfit, bitch. Let's see what something cute say, girl. Uh, no, girl, that shit ain't cute. You can take that motherfucking fucking sweater off, bitch. Okay, we wear this, girl. Yeah, we wear this. This is perfect. What should I do with my hair? Um... Fish tail. Sound good. Okay. Oh, uh, I thought I'd be more nervous. I ain't really nervous. The actual thought I'd be more nervous. I can feel still a little pressure from our parents. Uh, it's like they're kind of expecting us to start dating now that we've grown up. It doesn't scare me though. I feel very comfortable with them all. I guess I'd better get going. I hate that dress that she got on, BTW. Dad, promise me you won't embarrass me, okay? Of course I won't embarrass you, Mimi Moo. Girl, can you please not call me that when we're there? No problem, Mia. Thanks. To Leah. I know it was pointless for me to ask my dad not to embarrass me. Because the thing with my dad is, he, he isn't actually trying to embarrass me. He's just being himself. I love him, and I'm old enough to appreciate him for being too late. Mm, actually, I learned to do that early in my life. The point is, I know to ask him not to embarrass me, but honestly, I don't mind him calling me Mimi Moo or Mia Tortellini or, or whatever the fuck, bitch. Um, I just have to get him to believe that I'm like any other teenager who's embarrassed about their dad so that he won't think... I feel different compared to my classmates, but I do. Not in a bad way at all. I actually feel really lucky to be this close with my dad. But if I pretend to be like my classmates, he feels like he had a normal. I had a normal childhood despite missing my mom. That's my goal. I know he. It's cheesy, but I really don't want him to think that I'm different from other teenagers. This is real unnecessary fucking commentation, y'all. I'm sorry. <sighs> But I do feel like I am losing my mother has just been well has just made me independent and he thought taught me that if I wanted to learn how to use a tampon, what well I had to do it myself because there's no way I'd ask my dad about it. It's hard but luckily for me well lucky for me, I grew up in time of the internet and YouTube and there's a how to for everything on there legit it is though um it's not the same as learning the necessities from your mother but it it was all i had and did at the um did the job um i never asked my mama how to put a fucking tampon in no nah, i asked like cousins like my age i'm about to ask my mama this shit like that it was awkward enough to have the whole pad conversation bitch but i wasn't about to no girl mm -mm. it's the bond i miss um, it's the friend and support throughout the life I needed. Oh my God! And and and, ugh, and not just in my past, but in my future as well. I miss her in my my wedding, my the birth of my children. Can't even imagine how it's be to someone to lose both of their parents at once. Oh my fucking God! Cause quit quit fucking talking. This fucking shit is stressing me out. I'm sorry. She grateful she got a fucking father or whatever, but. As long as he happy. Yeah. Oh, they're here. 
What the hell is that? Oh. We were greeted by Will and Mr. Anderson. Uh, and George, me, it's so lovely to see you again. Mr. Anderson put his hand on my dad's shoulder. He, he hadn't changed much except he got in glasses. Charles, it's been too long. His face was friendly. It was easy to see that Will resembles his father. William? I almost didn't recognize you. You've grown up, huh? Just like your little girl. <laughs> Mimi Moo will always be my little girl. He's irritating. It's nice to have you back in Woodstock, Mr. Anderson. Brilliant being back again, Mia. And may I just add that you're a beautiful young woman. You've come. What a beautiful young woman you've come. Thank you, Mr. Anderson. Where's Alice? I'm in the kitchen, George. I can't get the bloody gravy to taste right. <laughs> I'm sure it's amazing, Alice. You've always been a charmer, George. It's been quite a few years, hasn't it, George? Mm, it has, and you know how kids these days always try to hide their parents away. Mm, that's not true, Dad. Yes, it is. Uh, oh, well, yes, it's easier when they were kids. When where they were drugged with us uh, um when they drugged us to, with them to everything uh, after this dinner we probably won't see each other again till the wedding bitch what I was thinking the exact same George dad bruh no wedding child I'm sorry child no wedding girl Oh, stop it, William. You know we we all secretly hope you and Mia will get married. Will and I looked awkwardly at each other. We've actually always hoped you would. Dad, please. George, get out of here and give me a hug. And Charles, I will hope... Uh, will you open the wine? Mm, got it, Alice. Um, that was awkward. Well, that was awkward. <laughs> what did you expect? <laughs> well, not that our parents have been playing matchmaker since we were kids. <laughs> um, Mia, I, I was actually thinking about, he bit his lips and ran his hands through his dark brown hair. He was actually clearly nervous. Dinner's ready, kids. Um, okay, we'll talk later. Are you sure? Yeah, it's fine. It's nothing important. He looked disappointed down into the ground. Well, okay, let's go. Shit, let me I guess what the fuck did he want, girl? I knew they was gonna be outside, bitch. I ain't got the time for this. Well, they're still getting along pretty well, huh? Yeah, it's great. I know my dad hasn't really made any new friends since yours left. Well, since you left. I'm sure he'd really appreciate to start seeing your parents more again. I'm sure they'd love that too. Maybe your dad and my dad can start bowling again. Well, bowling together again. I actually heard them talking about that while you helped your mother clean the table off for dessert. Really, that's great. I think we're, uh, we were happy that our parents were still getting along so well. Not just because we were happy for them, but because that meant we'd probably see, be seeing more of each other too. So, uh, the thing I wanted to talk to you about was, uh, yes, shit, I don't know how to say this. I'm afraid I'll ruin everything between us. Oh, come on, Will, you know there's nothing you can say that, ouch, would make me angry with you. Oh, you're touching his hand. I grabbed his hand to reassure him that he could be honest with me. But I was nervous about what he was going to say. Well, it's not like that. Okay, okay, I'll just ask you. You're kind of freaking me out. What is it? <laughs> I completely understand if you don't want to, but I just need, I just, I need to ask you. Uh, do you think there could be something more between us? More what? I mean, more than just friends. <laughs> Would you um, ever consider going on a date with me? A date with you? <laughs> 
Oh, let's say I thought you never would ask. I completely understand if you don't want to. I'm okay with just being friends. And I'm sorry if I... Well, would you shut up for a moment? Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Honestly, I was starting to fear you would never ask me. <laughs> really? <laughs> I think our chemistry has been undeniably as well. Phew, you have no idea how relieved I am. Stop it. Give me that. Give me this. Um, I was afraid that I'd ruin what we have by asking you. Uh, I'm glad you asked. I I think it would be interesting to try. Yeah. Me too. So I'll call you and we can figure out the details together. Sounds like a plan. Great. Let's go back inside again. I think my mom's already with the uh dessert by now. Mm -mm 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 -mm. We had a great night. The dinner was great. And Mr. and Mrs. Anderson are amazing people. And Will, Will asked me out. I'm going on a date with my best friend who's grown up to be seriously good looking, to be honest. Apparently, I'm also going to be traveling to Finland with Daryl and Kylie soon. So I have to book that trip too. I defin I'm definitely experiencing all of these days. And soon I'll be graduating too. And hopefully, I'm off to college with uh kelly next year but for now i just have to survive the trip to finland with daryl and this ever-present bad boy image Ugh, he irritating as fuck with his old ass <laughs> and hopefully go on a successful successful date with will and that's the end apparently girl you know how she be she just cut some shit off well hope you guys enjoyed that